Hello everyone, Jekyll here. Welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Engineering, a series that tries to explain every engine in the game of yu gi bro and do silly puns while doing so. In today's episode, we're going to overlay our desires and create a network of plays that will shock the opponent. Okay, that wasn't my best, but can you blame me? Ask yourself. How many Xyz puns can you put in a sentence? Okay, tangent aside, let's find our inner Tony Stark and armor up with the Armor Xyz engine. Before we do though, remember to like, comment and subscribe if you find this kind of content interesting. I'm on a road to a thousand subs and every one of you counts. I seriously don't have enough backup emails. There is something planned for a thousand sub celebration and the faster we hit the goal, the sooner you get to know what it is. Now, let's all become Iron Man. The Amodexy series is rather new since it was introduced in one of the most impactful sets of recent months, Age of Overlord. As far as I was able to research, the engine hasn't seen much competitive success. However, in a Snake Eyes, Diablo, Starfire, King, Tenpai, whatever environment, it's rather hard for an Xyz focus engine to, to thrive. It did see some experimentation in rogue strategies like Goblin Bikers, Burning Abyss, Super Quants, etc. I still think it's a very interesting engine to get your hands on since there's always going to be a viable Xyz strategy, either rogue or meta. This engine is somewhat different from anything covered prior. It's almost entirely made out of extra deck monsters. Interesting, right? The thing is, the engine can only be used in decks with access to rank 3 or rank 4 monsters. For rank 3 access, this is the card you want to summon. The effect to draw a card by detaching two Xyz materials basically mitigates the cost of the Xyz summon. Fortress is the main monster used in the engine. Unfortunately, it can't be used as Xyz material while it has cards under it, but that can be resolved with its effect. It can also double battle damage when equipped. This trap, formerly an anime only card, is the only main deck component of the engine. I know, I know it's a trap, meaning it's inherently slow. Damn, Yu-Gi-Oh did speed up a lot over the past few years, didn't it? However, its status as a trap is what makes it useful. The effect is pretty straightforward. Xyz summon using monsters you control, and after that you can just banish it from the grave to equip an Xyz to an Xyz. It helps dodging targeting effects, but also allows access to the payout of the engine. Full Armor Dark Lancer, a rank 7 water Xyz monster, which can be summoned by slapping it on top of a rank 5 or 6, making Fortress a valid material. It doesn't have game breaking capabilities, it just gains attack for each Xyz material and can add Xyz cards from the graveyard back to the hand. However, its main power comes from the last effect. It can attach to itself one monster in the opponent's possession when a card is equipped to a monster. And remember, this effect doesn't target. And now, here is a reminder. Full armored Xyz in grave effect equips the Xyz to an Xyz. From what I've seen online, which is where the engine is most prevalent, people tend to play one copy of every card mention, if rank 3 access is possible. If not, then Torpedo is omitted for the rank 4. Most of the time it's Dugaris, since you want to get rid of all of its Xyz materials before you slap Fortress on top. The engine is quite concise, it consists of 4 cards, using it doesn't impact the consistency too much, and it provides non-targeting, non-destruction removal on top of a big motherfucker. Unfortunately, the fact it uses extra deck space is a detriment to the engine. Every deck has to utilize that tool in order to deal with issues or build a strong board. Nowadays 15 cards is very tight. Additionally, the engine is basically locked into decks with rank 3 and the rank 4 capabilities, making its usage quite limited, unless you use other engines to facilitate that. Out of the two possible deck choices for the engine, I think rank 3 would work especially well, solely due to the existence of Torpedo. I've mentioned Burning Abyss and Goblin Bikers earlier, and those two are the prime examples of where this engine can find its place. As for any rank 4 decks, remember that you need to get rid of all the materials under the rank 4, meaning that your choices have to reflect that. That would be it for today's episode. Not sure about you guys, but I'm feeling the flow. How are you going to build the overlay network? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Additionally, from here on out, I'll be posting a poll on Twitter and YouTube about what engine should I cover at the end of each month. Keep your eyes out for that. This has been Jacolo, and I'm signing out. Peace. <laughs>